Get over here! <sighs> the next morning comes too quickly. Lynn has fought back the bandit attack. Now she rushes for the border of Burn. If she can reach it, Lishia itself is not far off. For a moment, Lynn stops to imagine the face of a grandfather she's never seen. And the face of a Dorcas stabbed through the chest, Oscar. Uh, don't remind me! He was right there! The other I... mercenary was right there! Dude, I feel bad enough as it is! Don't make me feel worse about losing Dorcas! Anyway, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the next chapter in Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I am the Green Scorpion here with Comic Foil, who's guilt-tripping me right now! I I it's just if you looked a little bit more to the north. Did didn't you say that you weren't such a big fan of Dorcas? I'm the one who's suffering here! No, I'm not. Ugh. I, I mean, I know we're gonna get more axe wielders later, but for now, we're basically short an axe wielder here in Lindis' story, so lance wielders are gonna be a problem. Anyway, so, Lin and the Lindis League. Uh, was it the Lindis League or the Lindis Legion? <laughs> Welcome to the League of Lindis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The champion spot Spotlight, I featuring Eric, the new mage. Who we're going to get in this chapter, along with another character who is its kind of funny. We lost Dorcas, who Comic Foil is not a huge fan of, but I personally love. This chapter... I mean, he's okay. He's just not, he's just not you know, top 10 for me. Yeah, well, here we're getting a character that you're a big fan of that honestly annoys me. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah, Lin and the party are basically discussing rooming situations right now. But... Yeah, so I like how Florina doesn't even come on screen until the men are gone. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice touch. Okay, so here we got even more bandits, uh, or rather, like, headhunters coming after us. Yeah. Or are they are they still the bandits? No, they're the Ganelon bandits, so they're still after Lin they're, for what happened. They're bandits, but yeah, they're, yeah, still, they're after. They're still not happy about what happened to Zugu. And, they, and um... Lin's not having any of it. Weren't they hired by a uh, Lundgren? Too? No, the Ganelon bandits were just mad that Florina ran into them. Wow, they can hold a grudge. They, no, they seriously are holding a grudge right now because, well, Zugu got beat by a bunch of girls and a couple of knights. Things could have been so good for them if they just accepted oh, the party. Okay, this character! Guys, she say hello to Sarah. She is wonderful. And say hello to Eric. Funnily enough, I am a huge fan of Eric. But I can't stand I basically share Eric's opinion about her. <laughs> oh my lord, that, this that's character. Kind of, that's kind of what I like about her, though. She, like, she just inspires so much disdain in everybody around See, her. See, look at what Eric is right now. Is like, I swear, you are not the woman I agreed to escort. What's that supposed to mean? I heard someone was needed to escort a frail Lycian priestess to Ostia. Yes, I am that priestess. Frail? You? Sarah, you have no need of any escort to protect you. Even the most hardened criminal would flee in terror after five minutes. Well said, Eric. Well freaking said. Can you, can you see why I'd let, like, she has no combat experience, she does nothing but heal, and she just, like, runs up to everybody and spits in their face. No kidding. It's, and look at this, she's so conceited. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's kind of... And yeah, she has a crush on Eric, that much is obvious. I mean, there's like, you know, everybody has their characters that they hate, but I feel like sometimes a character is designed to be hated, and it's done so well that I end up loving them. Yeah, and them. what they just said there just now is like, Sarah was all, like, your personality's nothing special, but you're not half bad to look at, and Eric is like, I believe that's my line. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see, there's some, uh, there's some romantic tension there. Yeah, there is. Like, not with Eric, but with Sarah. Eric has, Eric wants know. nothing to do with this woman. The, the the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is disinterest. Is that how it works? Yeah. That that is some comic foil guru advice. Is it okay then? I will take your word for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, commenters, please do not take my advice on. Uh huh. Anything. But but I'm right though. I'm right about Sarah. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 
And this guy just straight up called Lin a she-devil. Yeah, well, he is a dirty rat man. So. Yeah, yeah, this is the same rat man we saw in chapter, uh, in the last chapter, where, yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna bring that chapter up right now. Uh, it's okay, Dorcas is with his wife now. That, that's true, at least he's not dead. Anyway, here we get a glimpse of Eric's power. He is a mage. And mages are awesome in Fire Emblem. I found a really funny, um, glitch when I was playing this not too long ago, though. Really? Um, I don't think it happens all the time, but I press start to skip that scene. Uh-huh. And when it started, the enemy archer, I guess Eric had crit in that scenario. What? Um, but the enemy archer was still standing there, but was at zero hit points. That's so weird. It was, I, I wish I had a motion capture when I did it, because I would love to show it to you guys. Oh, it, it man. Was, it was pretty cool. Maybe I can try and do it and see if I can, f see if I can, like, show it off or something. But for now, let's get into the combat here. We're going to have Saint come in and take care of this bandit. And you can notice the uh, stat difference between him and Sane. Like, like Sane would have a 100% hit rate on against this bandit. Uh, Sane only had an 83 Anyway, so, just like in the tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and have Lin talk to these people. This is the only scenario in the game, I believe, where if you talk to one of those units, it recruits them both. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Usually you have to, like, daisy chain them together, like, mm -hmm. then you have to have Sarah talk to Eric. There's this one mission in Sacred Stones in, um, Erica's story. Yeah? Where you're trying to get Inez and Tethys and Garrick and Marissa. Uh-huh. Oh, and yeah, and you have to chain them all. It's this really annoying chain because they all, like, scatter, too. They're all fighting the enemy, and they scatter across the map. Yeah, I remember that mission. There's a similar situation in, uh, in the second part of this game. <laughs> Eric is like... <sighs> Anyway, like, what, why, why are we doing this? Yeah, but there's another... I'm actually gonna put him up here. There's actually a scenario yeah. later in the game, and... Oh, jeez. Um, what can I do here? Oh, um, I know what I can do. Okay, so we're gonna yeah. have uh, Eric take this guy out. Well, weaken him even further. Uh, um, make sure you uh, heal him, too. Yeah, I definitely will. I definitely will. Be able to get to him. It's so nice to finally have a healer and not have to depend on... Vulneraries and fulneraries. fortresses that take up so much time. But anyway, yeah. yeah, like, what you were saying about that chain recruiting, there is another scenario... There are a couple of other scenarios in this game that do that, but it's not terrible. I remember there's an uh, there's a mission early in the game that makes you do that. And Florina takes out an archer. Ladies and gentlemen, a Pegasus Knight just took out an archer. Yeah. That actually happens more often than you think, because, uh... Pegasus Knights can uh, attack up close, while Archers cannot, so usually it's good to have them come in and uh, take them out when their guard is down. Yeah, it's kind of rocket tag. Alright, so how far can you travel? You can actually make it to Will oh, if I yeah, make him move full Will. speed, so I'm not going to do that. And we're going to have him come up with a Lance equipped. Actually, no. Um, yeah. Eh, Kent can handle it, but I'm going to equip him with the sword, because at the very least he'll be on even ground with that mercenary. Um, don't bother with any of the houses in this mission. Yeah. Like, like, all of them are basically just giving you more instructions on how to play the game. There is one house in a certain mission in Lin's story that I do want to visit with certain characters, however, and you'll see why later. I, I know what you're talking about. Okay, good. Because that, that scenario is a little hilarious. Um, that is yet another example of why I think Sarah is funny. Yeah. You know what? Sarah has her moments. I'm not gonna lie. I just it, it, don't like. Be, because I, it's not actually sit. it's not actually Sarah. It's the characters around her that are amusing to me. Yeah, but she just doesn't sit well with me, unfortunately. Everybody's terrified of her. It's not so much terrified. It's more like annoyed. Well, yeah, but like to the point where like they don't even want to stand near her. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing. Alright, so here's the beauty of Florina. You can just have her come forward and take out, like, the the enemies that are, uh, further in. Okay, we're gonna we, have um... Lin take... Um, actually, let me see Eric real quick. He's... Well, he can't finish this guy off yet. Oh, I know what to do. So, as you can see, we're, um, kind of using everybody together evenly because we want to spread out the yeah. experience as much as possible. This is how you want to play Fire Emblem. Take advantage of every 
every uh, unit's abilities and make sure they work as a team. That's usually not how I play That's Fire Emblem, but for this Let's Play and for the, um, you know, the permadeath runs, like, it is valuable not to put your eggs all in one basket. I know I've said that before on this Let's uh -huh. Play, but... And I think um, I just made a mistake. No, I did not. Okay, I'm good. I thought I put, uh, I thought I put Sarah in harm's way for a second. If you're going for harder difficulty, it is kind of good to min-max and just pick what units you're committing to. Yeah, but even but then, like, it's, it's going to, even know, Even then, missions. it's pretty crucial to still have them as a team, because even the most hardened fighter can only do so much in this game. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go completely overboard, but... You know, like, personally, I don't think we're going to be using Kent that much in the future, but... I mean, I don't know. I can't predict the future. Mm -hmm. Wow, safe, not even the Slim Lance can get two attacks on that thing. All right. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Okay. That archer can actually reach all the way up there, so I'm going to have a... Um, actually, how's Will doing? Three, level one. Okay, I'm going to have... I'm going to get Eric some experience yeah, here. we got to get some levels on Because Eric. Eric, if you level him up right, he becomes an amazing mage. It's kind of like the name Eric, but you're just saying it really fast. Mm-hmm. That's Eric. how... Okay, funny little story here. For the longest time, I thought his name was Irk. Yeah, I thought about that, too. Yeah, but then, like, my my friend uh, Steven, who, as I mentioned in my 5-Minute Reflections, uh, is, the, is the guy who introduced me to the game in the first yeah, he place. Got you into the he, game. he eventually explained to me that it's actually Eric. And I was like, that sounds infinitely better. Than what I was saying, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna call him Eric from now on. <laughs> I was playing this game a few weeks ago, actually, um, kind of to prepare myself for this Let's Play. Uh huh. And I remember that house um, that's right south of Lindis. Yeah, that one. This one? Um, yeah, don't bother visiting it. It's okay, what about it though? But um, I went up there with Eric. Uh huh. And, you know, because I wanted to see what all the houses were, and this old man is in there and he says, um, Mages are very powerful, but you should be careful. They're quite frail. Make sure you're always careful where you position them. And because I moved him forward to talk in that house, a mercenary attacked Eric. Wow. I was like, oh, thanks, old man. Very useful, very, yeah, very useful advice from a wise old man. Oh, Florina. Doing wonders for us. She just, she can't be stopped. Unless arrows are involved. No, she's doing a great job. And uh, Eric's, we have a, uh, Eric's doing pretty well. Yeah. Eric's not my favorite mage in the game, but we don't get my favorite mage until much later, and you kind of want a mage in the meantime, so... Yeah. All right, I'm going to have Sane take this guy out. What do you think? It. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Beautiful. I, I am definitely pro-Sane. All right then. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty uh, on board with having Sane uh, over Kent. All right. Oh, so. I did check. Um, I was wrong. Sane cannot support with Florina. Uh, my mistake. Sane cannot support with Florina. Nope. Could have no. sworn he could. Nope. Oh wow. But um, yeah, I, I thought so too. Yeah. Um, all I know he supports... can. I, I know he can support with Sarah. And that conversation's yeah. hilarious. Uh, we might have to do that then. All right then. Um, let's see. Well, what I, we don't get. Oh! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we want to use Sarah in the long term. Oh, range get that javelin, weapons. Yes. Uh. Although we won't be needing that hand axe, Oscar. Will you stop it? <laughs> okay. Don't know who's gonna use that. Ugh. Florina, you're getting you're getting a javelin. And Kent and Sane should get one as well. We might need to sell something though. Is there something we can sell? Um, might be able to sell that spare iron sword that uh, Lynn has, because she's not really gonna need it. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. This guy has a steel axe, but he's not gonna move. So what yeah. we can do is have Eric take him out, and that'll get him some levels. Right. Now. Do all their inventories reset when they come back in a Hector store? Yes. So it doesn't matter how much we use the Manicotti. Um, that is correct. 
Um, it doesn't matter okay. how much we use the Manikati, it doesn't matter how much gold we spend or anything like that. Everything is reset once we start the next, uh, next part of the game. Okay. And that's what- that's what I like about it, because you can pretty much mess up in this chap- in this portion of the game, like we did last time. I know, say nothing. Um, and just do whatever the heck we want to get used to the mechanics, and then once we start the second part of the game, that's when our- that's when everything we've learned throughout these ten chapters are put to the test. Oh yeah, this is the- this is the tutorial story. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need to sell things. Let's do that. However, we are going to sell the, uh, yeah, we're going to sell the iron sword that she has been using. So she now has a fully stocked iron sword. And it's nice. It's a uh, it's christened with the blood of bandits. And yeah, we're just going to do this all in one shot. This is why I love rescuing. Okay, and we get a javelin for Sane, and we are good to go. All right. So, so who now has then. the javelin? J just Sane. Um, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, who who do we have javelins on? Um, now? we have javelins on all three of our lance wheelers. Okay, great. Yep. So what we're going because to, so what we're going to Pegasus do Pegasus Knights plus javelins are pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And here Eric is going to prove that he is a very good escort. And a level up right off the bat. Love it. Da 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 da. Ah. Oh, it's not the Yeah, it's not a great level, level up, but for. I'm pretty sure he's going to get enough at least one more by the end of this battle. So let's just let's just wait it out. Oh, okay, we're gonna train him. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have Eric take this guy out. Yeah, one more shot'll do it. Also, by the way, this guy's name is Bug. Man. What is with they... what is with boss names and being so unbelievably stupid? The these uh Ganelon bandits just know how to name. That's why they became bandits, because their parents have no sense of naming their kids. Do you think his mom named him Buggy? Oh gosh. Do you, do you think the neighbor kids s s s yelled Punch Buggy? At oh him and gosh. Punched him and on the what is with Eric in these levels? Oh. He only leveled up two stats in those two levels. Ah, oh, thanks, Lynn. You did a good job too. <laughs> and here we have another conversation with annoying Prissy Cleric. And awesome genius mage Eric. Okay, whatever you uh -huh. say. Yeah, not the case. What have we here? Another wildflower? Perhaps a butterfly? Look who's here. Yes. <laughs> oh God, Sane, I love you so much. An absolutely delectable creature. She serves a uh, house Ostia. That's and that's going to be very important later. It's going to be kind of important. Yeah, I guess I guess I say very important because I'm excited as to what we're going to be revealing through it. Well, it's neat because Hector's story slash Ellawood's story is already kind of, like, present in Lynn's story. Yeah. Even also, though Lynn's story is really far removed from those stories. Mm -hmm. Also, I love what I love what Eric has to say here. It's like, Sarah, what deviousness are you contemplating now? And Sarah's like taking a per taking every opportunity to get on uh, other houses' good sides. I guess you could say she kind of serves as an ambassador to yeah, Ostia. Yeah, she she's she very good at her job. Yeah, she is very much an ambassador for Ostia, but she's very good at her job. But the but the way she does it, okay, is questionable. Yeah, I bet you couldn't be happier saying you got all these lovely ladies around you. No, Lin Lin's team has a pretty diverse group of people. And yet they are able to justify why all of these characters join the party. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going in that direction anyway, so... Mm -hmm. must, and Eric's like... Well uh... Is this a good idea? <laughs> er poor Eric's just trying to fulfill his contract. He's just like, I don't believe this. I think I'm going to be ill. <laughs> I, I love you, Eric. I really do. So, going back to Castle Kaylin, we're going to get a little bit of an update with uh, our antagonist, Lundgren. 
and he's not happy at all. No, he, he he is like his face is like permanent scowly face. Yep. And yet this, you know what I love about some of these sprites? These soldiers have a face, and yet they still manage to be faceless. Yeah. It's all about the eyes. I always feel bad for the soldiers. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You you kill a lot of you kill a lot of people in this game. And you, you don't really think about that. At least not until a certain boss fight in a later game. Huh, that sounds like something that could possibly appear on a future countdown, Oscar. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that countdown will be out by the time this episode goes up. Oh, okay, that would be nice. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been The Green Scorpion, and along with my good friend Comic Foil, this was Beyond the Borders, Chapter 5, and next time we will be tackling Chapter 6, getting ever so closer to Lynn's goal of meeting her currently in danger grandfather. It sounds like a good time, and except for the endangered grandfather part, that's kind of sad. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. So we're gonna max out Sarah, right? Like, she's gonna be, like, our main healer and our main magic dealer. Honestly, as much as I don't want her to, it's probably the best thing we can do. We'll see you guys next time. One, and two, and one. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty, and witty, and bright. And I pity any girl who isn't me tonight. Wow, I butchered that last line. <laughs>